back. As part of the module 3 ETL with Spark SQL, let us understand uh, the basic options that we can see in the Databricks table. Because in the previous video we have uh, seen uh, we, uh, we can read uh, the files directly and query the files directly. However, uh, if there are like some advanced uh, uh, file formats that you want to have, right? Like if the CSV is a, like a delimited uh, uh, with uh, like pipe delimited, right? Or if you're having a, a header basically in that CSV file or uh, in such cases, right? Uh, you definitely need to and you want to create a table with uh, some options uh, so that you can kind of uh, read uh, all these kind of uh, uh, files. So how to do that? Let us uh, see in this uh, demo. So what we will see is we will see the options header and we will see options delimiter. So basically these two are a very basic uh, I mean concepts that we can discuss in this uh, demo. So without any let delay, let's get started. So we have considered a CSV file. Let's uh, take an example, right? So this is a CSV file uh, that we are having. And in the CSV file, if you see everything is a uh, delimited with the pipe, so pipe delimiter. Like usually CSV files will be comma separated, right? But uh, here it is a uh, pipe separated, and you can see there are like a lot of uh, like thousands of records are there, and uh, we have uploaded this same file uh, in the uh, basically in the location, right? As you can see here. Okay. So and uh, the path to the location right so we have to give the exact same location here basically as you can see we have given the location of the blob storage uh, which is mounted this is a mounted location and uh, for the other important thing is we are defining each of these columns whatever the columns you see so all the columns are defined here here industry industry name uh, and this all these columns are defined with the uh, appropriate data types that we need right and also using csv this is important where we are telling the file name like you can create like using parquet using delta using text similarly we are doing using csv because the file format itself is dot csv here. but it is not a normal csv right it is a pipe delimited so we cannot treat it like a normal if you don't give the options uh, so it will not be able to read this file because it's a pipe delimited so that's why use we use a delimiter here uh, which the delimiter this is a key value pair delimiter is a keyword and uh, value is the whatever delimiter is there right it might be pipe delimited or it might be uh, say comma delimited or it might be a dollar some dollar symbol uh, delimited right so whatever it is delimited right that symbol we have to provide here and header equal to true why we are giving header equal to true that means uh, we are indicating that first line in the file is a header that means the file is containing header the header column so let's explain this in detail right i mean uh, explore this in detail like if you create this table so now the table is created once you kind of query this table right so you're able to see all the data uh, here whatever you see here uh, in the file we are able to query that okay and uh, so it is successfully able to parse the pipe delimited values here but the question is uh, what if uh, we give a comma separated here like or if you don't give the delimiter right so let us see what happens so if you're not giving any delimiter so let me let us change the table version to v1 just to test multiple scenarios here the table will get created no worries because uh, it will evaluate only when it is coming to the actual query so as you can see here everything has come null because it is not finding anything that is comma so it is finding wherever comma it is there it is trying to separate the values but it is not getting any any commas in the entire file so that means it is not able to parse this particular file and it's filling everything to the null I mean why it is doing this like right uh, so we have to understand that the data breaks or the hive right hive kind of a concept in big data if you're familiar it is always schema on read okay if you talk about a sql like oracle uh, db2 vertica these kind of databases we have right so those are schema on basically read i mean schema on write so these are schema on read that means uh, 
databricks uh, sql or the hive sql whatever we talk right these these are schema on read that means whenever you are kind of a reading a data then only it will apply, apply the schema actual actually physically uh, for the data there is no schema so it will take the data and then apply the schema so that's what we mean schema on read basically during the read it will apply the schema so when it is trying to apply this this schema right which we have defined in the uh, in the columns here so it's not able to and that is the reason we are not able to parse this and this is not the expectation right so that is why it is important to give the delimiter here a proper delimiter here right and also like let us try if we don't give the header what happens okay let us make it as b2 and if we query v2 let us see what happens here so you can note here uh, something uh, has happened okay so what has happened is uh, all the columns i mean all the column names what you are having in the file right so that itself is coming as a data if you see year industry for some reason year is not coming here okay but uh, it, it is like year industry code industry like whatever the the header i mean header row itself this complete header row itself is coming as a one record which is also not correct right so we don't want to bring this as a record this is a column it should remain as a column so that is where it's important to kind of a define a header true okay and uh, similarly we have given options to read uh, from a particular files right we can read the data directly from the uh, like uh, say from the database okay so let us take an example uh, here uh, like you can see create table okay whatever the table you can give, give a table uh, some name here like okay db table and here the important is using jdbc okay so there if you see we were using using csv using parquet using json using delta okay but here we are using using jdbc that means we are uh, i mean giving the jdbc connector kind of thing here and uh, if you are doing that it will the options will change here so the options what we give here is uh, url db table username password so like this the options will go on changing and uh, if you are uh, if you're having any sql db or any kind of, uh, sql server you can specify those jdbc connector details here with the username password so then you will be able to kind of uh, connect to that particular table directly from here so I think uh, the options the basic options we have seen here and also we have seen other options that what what we are telling is uh, the options there are a lot of options other options also it depends on what kind of uh, connector you are using and what exactly you want to do right so it depends purely depends on that but uh, the basic important thing is to understand uh, using this option section we can do all these kind of uh, things okay that's the whole intention hope it was useful thanks for watching